Yes, sir. Back at it again with another JJ family video. It's your boy Josh. Now, um, please excuse us. Like, um, excuse me. I'm like super duper tired. As you can tell by the title, you already know kind of what's going on. So we threw my mom a uh, her fiftieth birthday party here at my house. So um, it took us all week to get everything set up. We put a bunch of pictures up of pictures of us when we were small. Um, set the whole house up and anything like that. So we went ahead and recorded that so you guys can see it. This is the day after. Last night was so hectic. It was a lot, but we had so much fun. Um, but we all didn't go to sleep. Like, I don't know if y'all been to an African party, but nobody really left until like 3 o'clock and all that type of stuff, right? 2, 3 o'clock. So everyone is tired. We woke up late today. We really just um put this video together uh, for my mom. We we appreciate her so much, so 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 much. From from me all the way down to my siblings, with Jenny, Gianna, Kiki, my cousins, everything like that. We all appreciate. We love her to death. I hope you guys enjoy it because we had so much fun last night. Um, we had so much good food, and my mom, uh, she was she had the greatest time ever. She was super happy. So that meant the world to us. So we were super happy for her. So. Go ahead. I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's 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 a long it's a, <laughs> it's a long video, but I I I love every single second of it. So if you guys want to go ahead and see kind of the inside of uh our our of our extended family on on, on my side, here's a little sneak peek. All right. Mom, thank you for being so kind to me and showing me everything that I need to know in this world. Merci, yes. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. I'm so grateful for you for everything you are. Literally my second mom, and I pray that God blesses you every day for the rest of your life. Many, many blessings, prosperity, and everything coming to you. I love you. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to lose. Okay. I'll do a quick You're so though. close. I, it's so, it's, oh, I promise okay, you from okay. far, I'm trying okay. to help you out. Okay. Mom, I don't even know how to put in words with you. I'm better at reading them. All. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it all this. Oh, God. Hey. Oh, God. I'm keeping it all. I'm keeping it all this. No, you're not. No, oh, I promise you. I clip. I clip. I clip. Mom. You mean the world to me, okay? You're really my best friend. You're the, like the way you hold your face. Yo, your face behind it. I promise you, when you okay, serious. I'll look away. I'll look away. When, when okay. you when you see it, then you'll understand why. Junior, come I did sit that. with me. I can't. Come sit with me. Do you want Janessa sitting here? No, Junior, come. Come on, come on. Hi. Just sit, just sit down with her. Okay, mom. I gotta back up. <laughs> exactly, cause you were too close. Mom, you mean the world to all of us. You do so much for us, even though we practically sometimes do nothing for you. Damn. You. <laughs> Yo. No, you're just the most selfless, most wonderful. I could talk about you for days on end because you are perfect. And I shouldn't say you're perfect, but if there was a perfect person, it'd be you, Mom. You're the best person I know in the world. I love you so, so much, so much, so much, so much. I can't you guys would have saw mine. Either way, Mom. Love you to the world. Okay, you're amazing. It. I couldn't even tell you if you're 50. You look 35. 25. Love you, Mom. 15. No, nigga. That's, that's too low, nigga. <laughs> You gotta speak up though. You, you got a deep voice. Use your chest. My fault, my fault. Okay, okay. You know, I just want to ask if I can have him 13. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm dumb. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh, hey! 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 I love you. You know, you raise me and everything like that. I do everything, you know. I'm a, every, everything I do, really, is for you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, real inspiration to me in everything I do, you know what I'm saying? I want to go far and really surpass, you know, dad and everybody and everything like that. A good part of that is because of you. Um, 
you know, in times where it gets hard and stuff like that, I just remember everything that, you know, on top of, you know, dad and everyone else that could have been in the picture, you're very much one of those those, those, those people up there for me. So, I love you. Top More tier. life. Top tier. Oh, uh, Capias, 50 years old, huh? Damn, uh, Why everyone tell me back <laughs> up, nigga? Back, back up, up bro. Um, Honestly, I'm not going to say I ever took you for granted, but now that I've actually spent months away from you, Mom, I have come to value your presence so much. I, your energy is insurmountable. There's nobody on this earth like you. Seriously. You're the best mom ever, but on top of that, you're an amazing woman. And I hope you have 50 more years, because I'm only 20, and I definitely need you at least till I'm 45. So, I love you. Happy birthday. Thank you for being here. But hear him over the phone. This is your aunt, nigga. Huh? Yeah, go. Yeah, go ahead. Speak up. Use your chest. Don't get nervous, nigga. She's changed your diaper. <laughs> it's no, only us. It's only us. You act like you wouldn't say this in front of us. You need to like get it together. This nigga over here. <laughs> There's no way this nigga is around here. The Nemo. light should be next to the door. How do you know Nemo? where the light switch is at, Nemo? There's a power outage. Oh my god. No, he's lying. There's no way. Look at it. The light just turned on. Right here. Hey, there you go. This man said he had a power outage. Go ahead. This nigga said, you know, I love you. Um, uh, you could have looked at this like five times. Nemo, Nemo. You said you want to redo it? It's redo it. Uh, okay. Just, 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 be, just, yourself. just be yourself. This just is, this be is, yourself. This is Tontin Capi. We're talking it's about. Literally, it's Mel Capias. <laughs> okay. Um. Are you drinking? <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I feel like he a little, he a little smash. <laughs> he a little smash. Huh? Nemo. Just speak from the heart, Nemo, I promise you, you did. He's still just, trying to go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think he's drunk or you're, something like that. You literally like, just genuinely. have to say happy birthday and what, basically just what she means. <laughs> Nemo, lock in. Nigga. Oh, That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> he saw me, he said okay. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Lock in. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> okay, you got it? Log in! Okay. Happy birthday, Dunsin Kapi! I love you, I miss you, miss you so, so much. I'm um, sorry I'm not there to wish you happy birthday in person. I'm gonna be back soon. And um, yes, you just, you mean so much to me, Dunsin Kapi. Thank you so much. I know when we were younger and we were in Upland, um, we were just, we were, we were with you, we were with you guys a lot, and we were with you. And just at that time, um, you know, my mom wasn't there. So I just want to thank you because you really stepped up and you were a big mother figure in my life. And Dante Capi, I really love you and truly appreciate you. And I'm just eternally grateful for you, Dante Capi. Uh, I love you. You mean so much to me. And um, I'm looking forward to spending so much more time on this earth with you because you have a lot of years left. And so do I. So I love you. God bless you, Dante Capi. So good. Happy birthday. So good. Yeah. Yo, hey, hey. Hi, Mama Kapinga. I just wanted to wish you happy birthday. You know I love you. And thank you for always listening to me when I talk your ear off at the wrong times. But our relationship has grown, and I can't wait for it to grow some more. I love you so much. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, you're the second mom. And happy, happy birthday. Jenny. I just want to say hi, happy birthday, and thank you. You're like a second mom to me, and I really don't know what I would do without you, and I'll do anything for you. Um, I love you. Thank you. Uh, happy 50th birthday. You're a really good auntie. Love you. Have a nice 50th birthday. Go ahead. Thank you, Tati Kapi, for what you've done for us. Happy birthday. Um, thank you for being there all, all these years. 
I just love what you did for me. Thank you. Happy birthday. I just want to say happy birthday, Mama Guppy. More life to you. You have so many beautiful children, grandchildren, and may God bless you with many more years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I can get it. Perfect. Hey, Mom. Um, I honestly don't even have enough words to say how much that I appreciate and love you. I'm so proud to be your firstborn and to be your first best friend. I know, I know, I know I'm your favorite child, okay? I don't, I don't care about the other three that you got. Yeah, they're beautiful kids. la di da di da But you and me, we got a special bond. Thank you for never giving up on me. You mean the world to me. Okay? And... Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything that you've done for me. I know that this is your 50th, but I can't wait to celebrate your 100th birthday when I'm 75 years old. Because, yeah, we're only 25 years apart. Anyways, crazy, I love old. you to death. You're an amazing mom, grandma, friend. Don't worry, Mama Kapinga. She got blankets on. Don't worry. We ain't getting yeah, sick. Don't, don't trip. I understand you. She always, got like three blankets on right coming. now. She good. She's she warm. good. I promise. I promise she's warm. Anyways, I love you dearly. And I'm going to go back inside and celebrate with you, all right? Thank you. Uh, happy birthday, Tati Kapi. I'm thankful for you for being my auntie. You really took care of me and you're always checking up on me and I'm very thankful for that. So happy birthday and I hope you have a very good day and just celebrate and go have fun. Yeah, happy birthday. Perfect. No worries, we don't matter. Happy birthday, Tazika P. Happy 50th. I'm so happy that you actually turned 50. Um, long lives ahead. Thank you for always being there for me. It's always been awesome. And I'm just happy to have you as a very good aunt. Thank you. Y'all want me to get in yeah. trouble, huh? You don't know. I'll film. I'll film. You can't film? The Undertaker. Weighing 107. <laughs> Thank you.
Ada yang mandiri, mandiri. She was born, she was in her 20s, in her 30s, now she's 50. She evolved. Me, my older sister, and her, we used to have fun, right? Not anybody else. Going to the club. So one time, I don't think my older sister was there. <laughs> me and my, me, me, uh, Kapi, we are like, what are we gonna do? We're in a hustle because it was, uh, we were a time out from school. Okay, let's, 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 let's organize an event. Right? Mm -hmm. We were like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna organize an event, have people paid, play some music, and try to make some money. That's her thing, right? Wait, mom? Wait, mom? That's what I want. All right. Since when? 
All right, so here we are. We're a group of people. She was part of the group of people. I was part of the group of people. So here we are. We organized the thing to make it short. We're like, okay, did we make money? It didn't look like because people came in, kind of broke even. Where was it? People came in, they pay. Oh, we sell uh, drinks. Did we make money? No. no. Why am I was telling this story? So and we decide to uh, to like have a competition between people who just a group of people dancing and who's gonna be the first one. I don't know if you should remember that. And it was a group one with the I got the power. <laughs> yes. They won the prize and we were like, let's do like a missed thing, you know. Nice thing, and she won it. She wants to lose. I don't want to hear nothing no more. I'll tell you that right now. I don't want to hear nothing no more. If I go out, boy, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I mean, uh -oh. just to say people evolved. You saw her as a kid, teenager. Now she's a mom. She's a grandma. She has four children. Joshua is the oldest, Jemima, Danny, and Junior. It's just to say the same thing like what the, pa the pastor has said. In French, I'll see if I wrote it down here in, uh, in, uh, in English. They say, il faut que jeunesse se passe. Right? Be young. You're going to have fun. I know we. I'm an uncle, she's a mom, no, can do this, can do that. By the end of the day, it's what they call, il faut que je laisse se fasse. Okay? Where is it? Somebody can translate that. Okay, it says... Huh? You gotta live your youth. You gotta live your youth. Okay, what I have here is a youth must have its fling. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. And then you move on, she did. She did. And, um, and she is who she is with a lot of wisdom. You guys heard the pastor, she described it perfectly. She has a lot of uh, wisdom, and at the end of the day, it's about l'âge, which is in French. L'âge, ce n'est pas l'envol des années, mais c'est l'ordre de la sagesse. That's perfectly what the pastor says. She had lived her life, she had did her youth, and now she's the wisdom that she is for her kid, trying to guide them where they want to go, trying to be with them, when she has to be with them, yeah. to hold her family, and that's what she does. <laughs> All right, Joshua, let's go. I have some written down, but I'm going to just go ahead and, <laughs> and speak from the heart. Um, so, um, I feel like my first best friend was my mom. Um, out of everyone that I know of, the only person on this earth who's never given up on me, even though a lot of people here know I'm probably like the rebel out of all of my siblings. My mom has always been there by my side. No matter what, she's always, I feel like the only, one of the main reasons why I'm still alive is because she prays for me every single day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, like I'm, 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 I'm glad that I was her biggest headache. I love her to death. Um, I really, it's, it's tough for me to say a bunch of words because me and mom have been through a lot. I know that she's had a lot of stuff go on in her life, uh, but one thing that, that makes me very, very, very proud of her is that no matter what has gone on, no matter what has gone on in life, whatever hardship she's gone through or whatever it is, whenever we're around, she never let us see how hard it was. She always told us God was going to take care of everything. Whenever we didn't have enough money, she always made a way. She always made sure that we were taken care of. And uh, she's the main reason why I try so hard to be the best father that I can to my own kids. 
She's the best, the best mom I could even ask for, better than what I could ask for, and the best grandma. Um, I don't say it too much, but I love you to death. I, I genuinely would give my life to you, for you. And um, after after hearing what I just heard, if I go out, I don't want to. No, 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 Like you said, live your youth, right? I'm in my youth, so no. <laughs> but I'm not gonna say too much. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it to Jemima. But again, thank you for everything you've done for me. I appreciate you with everything, and I can't wait to spend another 50 years with you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 so nervous to be up here, but anyways, so I'm just gonna look at you, Mom, because today, earlier, you called me your friend, and I was just like, wow, I've always felt like we were friends more than mother and daughter, but hearing you say that I was your friend today made me feel really warm, so I'm glad to just come up here and just say how much I love you and I care about you, because he talks about he's a headache, but we know real life. <laughs> so grounded and you're always there for me I call you you're the person I would call about anything because I know that you pick up and so you he says he'd give his life for you I know that you would give your life for all of us and that's why I agreed to I would give my life for you because you've taught me so much I learned so much from you just because of how strong you are I'm like you're more than a woman I'm like you're the strongest man I know <laughs> She's a builder, she's a cleaner, she's like, she's just the hardest worker I know. I don't know, you just work day in and out, work at your job, work at home. The best cook, too. You got to yeah, too. Yeah. I don't know. We're still too many, I don't know where she is, but I was like, dang, my mom's not cooking today. But she showed out, she showed out. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> she's the best. She's it's mom, a wild thing to say on the mic. <laughs> You did good. You did. You did. Hey, Danny, make sure it, it's turned on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Hey. Come here. This man's a fool. Hey. After watching that video, I don't want to hear nothing. I realized that there was a time in your life you did not know me. <laughs> and as painful as that probably was for you, <laughs> in truth, no, 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 no. In truth it didn't really exist, like that absence, because you didn't know who I was. But I have known you my entire life, Mom. Like, there isn't a day of my life where I didn't know you. And I don't think that I could, you, what, more than half your life you didn't know me, I don't think I could survive a quarter of my life without you, Mom. Yeah. Like, seriously. Yeah. Let's talk. In 2011, at the end of the year, you went to South Africa with Junior. And you left, you left us behind. It was like a month. But I promise you. Roughest the month. month. Roughest <laughs> month. The worst <laughs> month. <laughs> Tell <laughs> it. The worst month. The worst month. <laughs> yeah, it's a mountain of rice and beans. <laughs> the worst month. <laughs> Yo. You were the one who used to take me a shower. And at that time... They just pulled up to Don't think Dudu was taking my showers that month, and I, I love her, but it wasn't you. Like, <laughs> I used to come to you when I needed my back scratch. No matter what. Like, you, Ma. And, uh, <laughs> this nigga talking about getting washed. <laughs> so, there's so much you have done for me, and what I'm really trying to say is you are one of a kind. When those words don't even do you justice, Ma, you are like a diamond in the rough. Let me tell you. Like when I think about quitting in school, I'm like, what would mom do? And I go study. When I think about going to a party, I'm like, mom would. Well, well now, yeah! You better go! You better go! You better go out, boy! I'll tell you that right now. 
Yeah, yeah, live your you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You better step out. No, he said he's about to go now since he found out you was out there hitting your shoulder pads. <laughs> 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 I've been here for 50 years and I genuinely pray every day that you get 50 more because like I said, I don't know what I would do without you. Thanks. You anchor all of us like nothing. I don't think anyone else could keep these four children to the age that we are together, like you did, like Come on. you are some glue and then some. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I love you so bad, and you are miss put it on for real. So. Yeah. yeah, I was like, Mom, you've done so much for me that I don't know how to pay you back. You show me. Do your thing. Do your thing. That's poetry. It's okay. You're good. You're good. That's poetry. That's poetry. That's, poetry. That's awesome. It's okay. It's okay. That's poetry. That's poetry. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's you want to say it? Yeah. 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 Hey, right here. Mom, you've done so much for me. Take your time. You good. You good. Take your time. Mom, mom, mom. Okay, guys, you guys listen. Mom, you've done so much for me that I don't know how to pay you back. <laughs> you've shown me how I need to look at the world and how I should spread the word of God. But one of the best things you've shown me was kindness. How to show kindness to family, friends, and to the world. Thank you for being here for me, Mom. And thank you for being the best mom ever had. Yeah. Ce pas évident. Alors, euh, oui, je suis la grande sœur. Et euh, vraiment, j'ai tenu à être là pour cet anniversaire. Euh, je crois qu'on a dit déjà beaucoup de choses par les enfants. Et même à là, ils ont dit beaucoup de choses déjà. Et euh, ce que je peux dire, c'est que j'ai une sœur qui est formidable. Je suis au Congo, mais... Des fois, il m'arrive comme ça de l'appeler quand elle n'est pas au boulot et même des fois qu'elle est au boulot, elle répond. Des fois, j'ai envie de parler à quelqu'un parce que bon, avec entre soeurs, il y a toujours des trucs à se dire et tout. Et elle est toujours là pour écouter. On va prier, on va faire ci et tout. Et euh, vraiment, t'es formidable. Je suis contente d'avoir commencé. Yeah. <rires> Merci. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm really, really happy to be here today. I have to say that, um, you know, for, for most of you, you know my sister, uh, you know Kapi, but uh, for us here, we know how do we call her? Mel Kapia! Yes! Yeah, that's right. So, that's how we call her because, um, you know, she, she is amazing in all of the ways that you can think of. Um, as a human being, as, you know, a sister, as a mother, and uh, also as, as really a best friend for me. You know, she's, uh, when I count my best friends, she's my sister, but she's also a best friend to me because we've gone through a lot together. When I go back, uh, you know, we, we were much younger. I was like these guys here, and she was older. But she actually helped raise me uh, because when we moved to South Africa, we didn't have parents in South Africa. We only had her as the oldest person, as my mom, as my dad, as everything. So I was a young man. And she was, you know, like my mom telling me, okay, we're doing this, we're doing that, don't do this, don't do that. Just like she's telling you guys, you know, I used to be, I used to be that, I used to be you guys. <laughs> so she helped raise me, you know, and, you know, I love her spirit because she's always been, she's always been constant. You know, from 30 years ago, I just aged myself and, uh, and 
So, <laughs> from 30, 30 years ago, she's always been constant, just a very kind person, um, you know, really a, a woman of God. Because even then, you know, we would have prayers at home, uh, we'd have Bible study at home, people would come to our house to have Bible study and prayer and stuff like that. And she was, she was our leader, you know, at the house. She was the oldest person, she was mom, dad, and everything else. And she allowed that to enter into our home. And I was a, a, a beneficiary, you know, of that blessing. So, in so many ways, uh, she's just been amazing. I can't tell you the number of things that we've, you know, gone through. And, um, you know, you, you just talk to her and all of a sudden things are, things are better. You know what I'm saying? I call. Everybody says, you know, she's like, you call her and she'll pick up. I'll go a step further. You call her. Before it rings, she picks up. It's like, and she knows that you're about to call. It's like, boom, oh, hello? So you want to talk for five minutes, and it's like a two-hour conversation. Wait, you got to go to work. Oh, I'm at work. Oh, you've been talking to me? Are you at work? Yeah. That's a fact, though. It's so true. It's so true. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> she's just really, really, really amazing. But I got to tell you, you know, one thing, you know, which is absolutely amazing. So... You know, you know, like these kids here, I used to eat because you have to eat. But I love food now because of that woman. I'm telling you, now I love food because of her. Her cooking is amazing. So when I say, it means this is the place where you come to eat, to relax, and to eat again. And then you relax, and then you eat some more. And then you can <laughs> she is amazing. I always tell her, you gotta open up a restaurant, you gotta open up something, because people have to come, you know, in order to experience this. This is absolutely amazing. I've been pushing her all these years. So you guys should help me and tell her she should open a business here, you know. She, she, you know, seriously. So uh, you know, I'll 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 close by saying this. So um you know, I've been traveling uh, in the last, you know, few uh, months because of, you know, work and stuff. And uh, I was supposed to be uh, away, but when I was thinking, you know, about my sister and uh, what the pastor also said earlier today, when she was speaking and she's saying, you know, life is short. Um, you know, when I was thinking and, and thinking that I, I should probably come back. And, and enjoy and celebrate with my sister and my best friend because I couldn't miss an event like this because of how special this was. And it didn't matter to me what amount of money I could make or I business deals or work or whatever. All of that didn't matter. All that matter is that I wanted to see her face today. I wanted to see her face. I wanted to see how happy she is. I wanted to see how she's surrounded by family and friends. And I wanted to celebrate her and to tell her how much we love you. And everybody has said the same thing. This world would not be the same without you. Thanks. We would not be the same without you. Thanks. We are absolutely transformed. Mm -hmm. We are the best that we can be because you are in our lives. Amen. And we can't imagine it any other way. If we had to go back and do it all over, we'd still pick you. We would still want you. We would still have you Preach on. all day, every day. Preach on. You are the best sister. Preach on. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I, uh, I'm not good at making speeches because uh, I never find the right words to describe uh, how I feel or things that I want to say about people that I care for, people that I love, so I usually stay quiet in my background and uh, I let uh, my actions speak so uh, I'm a little bit shy sometimes speaking but uh, today is a special occasion and uh, it's an occasion to express love and to express um, everything that our sister uh, a friend for some others and a mother for a mother for most uh, represent to us um, I don't know where to start uh, like they say last born you get some few attention, especially from uh, from your parents, and uh, fortunately, you know, some uh, one of our parents left. But um, what I can say is that sometimes I do not feel 
that um, our mother pretty much left us because I see a lot of her representation through you. Um, I grew up, she gave me a lot of attention, and that's the attention that you give me. Um, your kid knows. I think they cheat. They cheat so far that they literally one day we used to live close to each other, and she had to move away. And they told her, okay, but if you move away, how is not know I'm gonna eat? Even they know. So we pretty much, you know. shows you the extremity of what you go through no matter what day it is when I come when I bring my stuff you are there <laughs> like it's, very sick, but, but it's, uh, it's something that is, uh, I've never seen anybody uh, do for me and you know and um, it symbolizes it symbolizes a lot so thank you thank you for for everything that you do uh, we can't express enough of what you do, you know, and we pray that God bless you and we know that God is with you and he's, uh, he's caring through you and uh, thank you, thank you once again. Yeah. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> Bunsen Kepi, I don't even know where to begin. From the time we moved, you've always been a mom to me, regardless of everything. Um, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> um, you've just always been so giving, so caring, and so loving. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, there are times where I didn't know what to do, and I would just talk to you, and you just lay a hand of grace over me, say prayers over me. Just give me words of wisdom that I really carry throughout the rest of my week, the rest of my years. And really this year you've really been a, p a pillar in my life because a lot of things have changed very drastically. Um, and regardless of how busy you are or how much work you have to do, you still make room to open your home to us. Be my brothers regardless. And every time, even though I don't come as often, <laughs> You always tell me to come and your arms are open and you set a bed out for me regardless. And it's just a lot of love. And there's so much more that I could say, but I just want to thank you for all the love that you show me and for all the acceptance that you've given me as well. Um, and just teaching me how to love people truly and just give out of the kindness of your heart. And I just, I love you so much. I just really want to say thank you for everything, and I know my brothers are saying the same. Nemo, he's not here, but I, he can testify to that as well. So, <laughs> um, thank you so much, Nakapias. You really, truly are a blessing, and I pray that God blesses you for the rest of your life. Nakapias. <laughs> Nakapias, this smile just represents our our relationship. You know. I've, I've always been able to laugh around you and, you know, with, with everything that, you know, through this live and moving and stuff like that, when we, when we came to Upland, I, I never felt like there was a void, you know, in my heart. And, and just that foundation, like kids are saying, you were such a pillar for us. And, you know, I can, I can speak for everyone in this room. Like, you haven't you just impacted, but you've just deeply touched everyone in the lives of everyone in this room right now. Um, and even the people that aren't here, like, you know, like, um, like kids I was saying, your mom's not here. Like, You've just been such a such a blessing, and I just want to take this time to just thank you. And because you know, the spotlight is on you right now, and just you know, Danny, they, they know that joke about oh, Dante Capi, can I have a dab team? So it's such a blessing, you know. And even the times where you know me and Dan were outside playing basketball, we come we come inside. Come on, guys, let's pray. You know, you've always been just watching over us. The longest prayers. The longest prayers, but you know, because of that, I just I feel like that carried that carried me and all.
all of us just so far. There's so many things that you know I can say that I feel like I were I was able to to go through because I just had you in the back of my in the back of my mind. Like when I think of like those those people, those influential people in my life, and you know what I do it for, I, I just I never want to give up because I have you in my mind. You're one of the strongest, not even just women, just people I've, I've ever come in, like in contact with. And, you know, when we moved to Upland, I was thinking, man, like, this is a woman that I haven't had, for, you know, in my life like that for this amount of time. And, you know, when I when I tell people, you know, where I'm from, I can never forget just that period of time that we spent in Upland because, you know, your impact in my life has just been so, like, so deep and it was just so rooted. And so I just I just thank you so much. I, and, you know, I just pray that, you know, for the next, you know, 50 years of your life, you know, um, in, the, in the name of Jesus. And, you know, as long as I can continue to grow, I just... I just pray that you know you'll continue to be there, and that you know we get closer and stuff like that. And you know, hopefully, you know, whatever the fruits of my life can somehow you know be able to come close to how deeply you've affected me. And so, yeah, just just thank you so much. I'm very happy. I'm very happy to have to, come home and seen you. So. I'll just speak out loud. I don't think this might play this. Um, you guys may not know me, but you might see me a lot. Um, <laughs> <She's nervous>. um, <laughs> I, <laughs> my name is Janessa. I'm Jemima's friend. I've been her friend since high school. Um, I'm very open with my situation. I've had a hard time, too. And, um, Jemima's mom uh, opened her home to me. Um, she helped me a lot when I was down. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, he's like a mom to me. That's what everybody else said. Um, I don't really get along with my mom as well, but um, she has also shown me uh, a better way to be a woman. <laughs> get closer to God and, um, and just how to be a, a future mother as well. And um, I appreciate anyone that I've encountered in this family that um, has been nice to me and um, opened, their, opened this home to me because I am a stranger, but um, I haven't. You know, stranger. You family! You family! family. You family! Future mother and um, I, I don't I don't know what I would do without you honestly. Um, you you are my savior honestly. So I owe everything to you. I like Josh, Jemima, Danny. I'll really give you my life as Ooh. well. You're like my mom. So thank you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 Capri, ce n'est pas seulement une belle soeur à moi, mais c'est aussi une soeur. Comme tout le monde l'a dit ici, elle ouvre sa porte à tout le monde. Et Capri, telle que vous la voyez, elle est courte, elle est petite, mais c'est une femme vraiment strong. Mm -hmm. C'est vraiment une femme strong. Alors, c'est quelqu'un sur qui on peut tout le temps compter. Mm -hmm. J'ai des fois... Euh, des invités que moi je ne pouvais pas, je, en fait, je pouvais, euh, comment dire, il y a des invités à qui je pouvais faire visiter, mais que je ne pouvais pas recevoir chez moi. Mais chaque fois que j'appelle Capi, je dis, Capi, est-ce que tu ne peux pas faire quelque chose Eh bien, Capi est toujours disponible. Oh. <rire> Exactement. Exactement. Alors, euh, en tout cas, merci beaucoup pour tout ce que tu fais. Même des fois, mes enfants préfèrent venir chez Capi parce que mes enfants connaissent le placard de Capi. Il y a toujours des cookies, il y a toujours des chips, il y a tout, toutes choses. Et puis, ils me disent aussi que maman, oui, euh, on sait que tu prépares bien, mais à part toi, il y a aussi tantine Capi. Alors, euh, 
en tout cas, merci beaucoup pour tout ce que tu fais. Non seulement pour mes enfants, pour ma famille, mais pour la famille tout entière. Et aussi pour tout le monde, toutes les personnes qui sont autour de toi. Tu es vraiment une bénédiction pour tout le monde. Amen. Que Dieu te bénisse. Amen. Que Dieu, en tout cas, fasse encore de grandes choses dans ta vie. Amen. Et que nous puissions bénéficier, au fait, de ta bénédiction. Amen. Okay? Euh, donc, euh, c'est ça. En tout cas, nous prions que Dieu le fasse dans ta vie. Merci beaucoup. Amen. Amen. No, I just wanted to say a word of thank you to everybody uh, who are here. I don't know where to start, you know. Uh, but of course, I'll always start with God. Because if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. So many times, I, I almost lost my life. I was explaining to uh, First Lady how I got out of an accident where mm -hmm. the car was completely total, but I got out of it, you know, with no scratch or anything like that. So uh, I want to first thank God. Because if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't even be here. So he kept me, you know, along the years, along <clears throat> everything I went through in life with, you know, my family and all that. God really kept us through and kept me, you know, alive and still strong for my kids and my family. So I just want to thank God for that. And I just want to, <clears throat> also today I want to honor my mom. She's no longer with us, but if it wasn't for her either, I wouldn't be here. Losing her was like <clears throat> losing half of my life, but uh, because it's because of her that I know God. She's the one who brought Jesus Christ in the family. So if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't know God. And uh, so I want to honor her today <clears throat> and uh, uh, continue to express. You know, <clears throat> I don't want I don't want to lose her memory because she's been really a pillar for all of us, mm -hmm. even for her for her brothers and sisters and all that. And, uh, and I want to thank everybody. I, I really wasn't even thinking about doing a party for my 50th birthday. Everybody was like, Mom, like my kids, Mom, you should do something. And my brothers, everybody had ideas. Like my sister was like, let's go to, um, where was it, Mexico? Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, everybody had an idea of what to do. You know, so everybody wanted to throw a party and, you know, do this. And I am so grateful, not just for the party, you know, I'm grateful for, I mean, if I love you guys, it's because you guys love me back, you know, and you guys love, uh, that's my life, you know, you guys loving me the way you love me, and uh, I'm so grateful to have you guys, I'm so grateful for my kids, you know, they are my, my, my precious treasure, the reason why I live, it's because of you guys, but uh, those are my treasures. You know, you guys are my treasure. All of you guys, uh, you guys know how much I love you. That's crazy. And my brothers and my sisters, uh, my older sister, she's my gift for my birthday because she came all the way from Congo. You know? mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God, don't go so to get that. <laughs> for my birthday, she's like, no, even when my mom was alive, she was like a mother to us already. You know, she raised me. I mean, she used to make me do my homework and you know be oh, yeah. there on you know, making sure I do my homework. Oh, yeah, yeah always, I'm showing me. You know, yeah, she was really, really happy. Yeah. 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 He's yeah, still feeling it. Strong, strong personality for us. This man tripping. We used to be so scared of her. She was we used to be scared of her more than our mother. Yeah. When she said, hey, yes. <laughs> you know, she Yo. was like, no, my God. That's, that's not you. <laughs> yeah. No, that's so, not me. That's Julie I'm with so, you. I'm so grateful that she's here. And she's always been a blessing to us. And now she's glad that our mother is not here anymore. She's like a mother to us. She always called, always, you know. She, I mean, if you see all of these, I'm telling you guys, she was, she's way older than me, but she was stronger than me, doing this and that and this and that, making sure that this is done, this and that. So, so grateful, so grateful for my brothers, you know. My brother, Alain, 
you know that everybody called Alino. Mm -hmm. I remember when I came here in America, everywhere I go, oh, who are you? No, she's still a cell. Hey, you're Zedek Alino. So my brother, I don't even know how many times he helped. I, I can't even count. You know, there's there's no there's no count. You know, it's been there for me. You know, when we were young, we used to fight a lot. You know, always. We're only two years apart. So I was so, you know, I wouldn't listen to him at all. <laughs> so we used to fight a lot. But also now we're friends. And uh, such a help, Grace. He helped me so much. I can't even count. I had no, no words. Him and his wife. And um, my brother, I have all the brother and sister in Africa, which I love dearly. You know, we're always on the phone. And, my brother Jean Luc surprised me today. Oh my lord! And in my heart, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do this. But when I told him, I said, "Stop!" He said, "No, yeah, yeah, pardon. Your business is more important than mine." But in my heart, I said, "Ah, my lord! But what a surprise! For me, it's always the little shock." He understood. He understood. I was so. I mean, that's the best surprise. Also, yeah. And my brother Noah. Donc vraiment, ça me fait mal quand quelques distances on s'est un peu éloigné, mais. It's only 40 miles. We good. Only 40 miles. Yeah. Yeah. Donc ça c'est mon autre enfant encore. C'est pas mon frère, mais c'est mon fils. Il va venir. Il va venir. I love you guys and I appreciate everybody that came. You know, when someone comes, when you invite them, just them be there. It's so it's show a lot. Mm -hmm. So you guys have no idea how I appreciate you guys being here. It showed that you care and uh, I'm so appreciative and I uh, thank you so much for being here to celebrate this with us. And it goes really right in my heart and I pray that God give you guys back the time that you take. You know, I see Papa Jules, that's my other, oh, my other frère, Lila. J'ai beaucoup de frères, mais j'en ai un là. <laughs> un, autre, un autre frère de la famille, vraiment, always there, pray, you're checking on me. Maman Capi, comment ça va avec les enfants? I mean, you know, oh, I have no words, you know, for Papa Jules. You know, you my brother in my heart, and I love you very much. And my dear Maman Malaika, dog. <laughs> Vieux vraiment tes pillars. Tu es aux assortés. Vieux wana. Donc, il y a des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Merci. 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 Merci.